The RTX 5090 is going to be an absolute behemoth of a freaking graphics card, man. The RTX 5090 could be shipping with two 16-pin power connectors because MSI just barely showcased one of their new power supplies. And it is, you see this, right? Woo, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to be toasted bagels up in our apartment buildings. You think the RTX 4090 was already a power-hungry, like, warm behemoth of a graphics card? Wait until the 5090 comes out. That's going to be ridiculous, dude. So we also got an update regarding the Intel Core Ultra 200 series CPUs from Intel. We also got an update regarding MSI's new motherboards for both AMD and Intel. And then God of War Ragnarok does have a patch on PC. For those of you that find it so difficult to log into a PSN account and create a PSN account, which not saying that you should have to sign into a PSN account to play the $60 video game that you just barely purchased, but I kind of think it's uh, it's uh, not very difficult to make an account to play the video game. It's not like people complain about creating a Blizzard account to play Destiny or whatever the one for Call of Duty is. Your boy doesn't play Call of Duty because he's a potato at FPS games, and I don't like playing multiplayer games because I get shit on and it pisses me off and I really get mad and angry and i've just learned to not play those types of video games because your boy likes to remain somewhat positive in a somewhat negative world that was a big fat lie not somewhat negative world really negative world so back to the article rtx 5090 could be shipping with two 16 pin power connectors <laughs> and this is because of msi's power supply with all those, which I, okay, so hold up. I got to show you guys this, sorry. So if I come over here and I'm, so go to, hold up. I got to show you guys, this is the most badass power supply in the history of power supplies. I love it. I just got it for that wireless computer over there and I'm so happy with it. All right, so this right here, look at this, man. Holy moly there, ladies and gentlemen. So, where, no, 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 all right. You see that, right? That's the only power supply out of the hundreds of power supplies that your boy has used that actually has cables that are not like the most nasty, disgusting, slap in your face of a power supply in the history of power supplies that have ever been released. However, I just find this wild, bro. So, it's a 1600 watt power supply. I get it. We're probably going to, uh, be grabbing 1600 watt power supplies for computers that are like behemoths of art of i know what this is for all right ready for this tinfoil hat of conspiracy theory of insanity okay this right here we are about to take a 1600 watt msi power supply and take this 5090 with this 5090 place it in the exact same computer and then this is what we're going to do we are going to replicate the intelligence of the Egyptians. And ladies and gentlemen, if you have not looked into the Egyptians and the Anunnaki, tinfoil hat is on for the moment right now. Just saying. This is about to be a, a pretty lengthy time, so you're probably going to need to scroll through the timeline. But I know you're going to find this just as interesting as I do. Listen, okay? This is not a... Con this is not like a... I don't want to say conspiracy coincidence that's the word that i was looking for so pyramid water runs under these pyramids to create this like static thing that shoots up to the metal beam at the top of the pyramid that shoots beams into outer space but not only this because that probably sounds like some sort of conspiracy theory right if you take the pyramid from a top-down look it literally it it's a map of our solar system but not only that is there a map of our solar system, there is tablets inside of museums, by the way, that are well older than what our lifespan of humanity actually is, okay? I am explaining this for a reason. I'm, we, I'm, I'm staying on track with the power supply and why I'm mentioning this. I'm just saying, okay? So, back to the Egyptians of freaking what the hell in this, okay? So people have been alive way longer than the 5,000 years or 4,500 years that were apparently only have been alive because these tablets with literally hand carved names 
and sentences on them are like well over 10,000 years. But okay, back to the pyramids. So the shooting laser beams, we have a map of our solar system. Okay, not only <laughs> not only this, if you stand in front of the pyramids, it's they point directly at the the uh like whatever the the people up in our map uh, the people up in our uh in our stars that like hercules and whatever you get my point like the freaking like big dipper and the little dipper and shit and they point at the stars that they're literally shooting beams into the freaking outer space with a map of our solar system okay now that we're like I'm not going to do your boy's going to get go down a rabbit hole of like what the hell is. So let's get back to why I just barely said this. If you haven't looked up the guy, uh, Bobby, hold on, I got to show you guys this because it's, it's fucking insane, bro. This is like the new thing that I've been looking into. Hold up. Bobby. I forget his last name. Anunnaki. Is it Bobby? or billy billy all right this is the guy this is the guy right here so it's billy carson bro and you okay i gotta show you guys this this is the video i'm talking about what the hell you can't all right so hold on all right this see this is a top down you see, i'm not like making this shit up so this is a top down map that he's 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 showcasing here that that literally this is like the points of the pyramid the exact points of the pyramid but but this is our solar system <laughs> dude like you can't tell me that's not that's fucking like what how do they know that and we're talking like tablets from time periods that are like like 30,000 years ago bro <laughs> like, dude i'm sorry but you can't make that shit up that's not a that's not a coincidence that that all those things together a map of our solar system all pointed at the all pointed at our the stars in our that they're shooting beams into with water running under them to create a static electricity to shoot beams out of the metal thing where the the guy the the king or queen or whatever that's up in there talking into the <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> you guys got to look into it you just know it's like so interesting <laughs> but anyways we're going to be using these power supplies to create the, <laughs> to create the intelligence level of the egyptians <laughs> from thirty thousand years ago and the anunnaki that literally brought us to our planet because i don't care dude if you think about it how do we get here i'm not and to the people that are talking about evolution i'm just gonna toss this out here for you okay we've been around for all right, so let's just like kind of like do it a little bit. All right, let's say 5,000 years. <laughs> so let's, so that's what we like. I'm pretty sure it's like 2,500 before Christ or BC is like where, where we go, like your scientists will go. Um, which is like, if you do that 2,500 years before we started counting and then that, that's like 4,500 years. Okay. You think about this, dude. So let's just like be really, 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 really generous with this and say humans have been around for a million years. Okay. The dinosaurs. The dinosaurs still have like 89 million years on us. And they never grew to have intelligence. <laughs> it's like, okay. So how do humans just like, Poof out of nowhere in 5,000 years have intelligence. Anybody else hear the crickets? Okay. So, this, as far as I'm concerned, bro, and then the Anunnaki, the reason I was bringing up the Anunnaki was because these are apparently intergalactic travelers. <laughs> and dude like fuck man i can't i can't, we're gonna get back to this because i'm just i find it so fascinating and so interesting man that i had to share that and uh that's what we're gonna be doing with this we're gonna be taking two 5090s and we're gonna be creating agi with it <laughs> and, and uh bringing the intelligence level of the egyptians best friends of anunnaki the the most intelligent beings of the universe that whatever brought the the level of intelligence 
of humans that evolved from the Egyptians. I guess if that makes sense to you. I'm freaking, I know I'm weird. I know I am guys, but like fucking A. You can't, you can't like, you can't make that up. That's, you can't make that up. So, and then if we pair the Ultra 9, 285K, I really don't like the the way that they're, uh, so I watched a podcast from Hardware Unboxed and they're saying the same thing. Like they're saying that if tech enthusiast attending an event like an actual event and msi needs to explain why they're naming their motherboards the way that they are like for those of you that may be unaware like the mag series and then the meg like the meg series like why do we have a mag series and a meg series and then an edge series and then it's like what the fuck does all of that mean and just so we're clear, I'm not talking about a B650 and a Z790. Obviously, that's a naming thing where we we understand like the difference. It's it's a B650 and a Z790. But they were also talking about how these the B650s or whatever the lower end board for the new Ultra series of CPUs from Intel. Um, they're not going to like it's not going to be like the B650 and the Z790 like right now like it's actually going to be like you can't like your seat your ultra 9 is going to work on the whatever the lower end board is but it is going to be a significant performance loss like and i'm talking about a big at least according to the hardware unbox podcast and my understanding of it um and dude, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that whatsoever because at least for the 13th and the 14th generation CPUs, and even now, I don't, so I actually want to say this to some, for the people that have actually been very frustrated with Intel because I started, I started noticing this myself and it was pissing me off. Um, if you have an Intel CPU and you're noticing your computer like just like bogging down a lot and having issues and it's like whatever like you're you go to open up your settings in Windows and it kind of like it like freezes for a moment and then it finally pops up or you go to open OBS and it like your mouse is like frozen for a second it's your BIOS's or your motherboards whatever like Asus has their normal and then they have their tuning and then they have their extreme and then MSI has whatever their versions of I, I'm pretty sure MSI is just like poop you just click it and then it poops your CPU up into the maximum um that's why you're having problems is because your 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 BIOS update that is trying to like lower the settings for the Intel are like I'm just trying to explain this in a manner that so that I don't like have to explain this for a bajillion hours. It's like it's like they're they didn't update the BIOS enough to where like everything isn't like countering isn't countering one another. So your your BIOS is trying to like boost it, but or your overclock is trying to boost it, but your BIOS is trying to like not boost it, and then it's like. So if you just, anyways, the reason I'm saying this is if you just lower everything to the normal, um, your computer's gonna run fine. I haven't noticed really any much of a power loss. I did notice a couple of problems, especially with this motherboard. This is the, this is one of the new wireless motherboards from ASUS. It's the BTF motherboard. Um, so I updated the BIOS on this. Don't do it. Do not update to the most recent BIOS. I was on the phone for two hours with a, and this isn't a mistake that I made. There's a lot of people on Reddit that are running into this problem as well. And I'm sure there's a few people that also are, that are watching this that have also run into this problem. When you update your BIOS, black screen forever. I'm not talking about, oh, it's normal. Your black screen, your computer goes black screen for 20 minutes. To be honest, I've never had to wait longer than like five minutes for my BIOS to update, or not my BIOS, but for the BIOSes that I've updated. Uh, it's like five or 10 minutes, not past 20 minutes. 
So like I was on a black screen for like, I want to say between 20 and 30 minutes. And I'm thinking to myself like, okay, well, why is there nothing happening right now? So I called Asus. First guy was a complete D bag and just literally hung up on me because I was trying to explain to him like, yo, I got a bunch of stuff on my computer. And this was actually where that spiral effect to me just being very, I'm, I'm not going to talk about it of why I wasn't making content. Um, I struggle with some pretty serious stuff, boys and girls. So, uh, anyways, yeah. So it was, it was basically bricked. What a nightmare, dude. What a nightmare. Um, but thankfully I got a lot of mini PCs that companies send me and, uh, this fella right here, which that box, hold up. All right, so this is, that's this one. This is the Geekmon one. This one right here that I'm literally turning into an emulation powerhouse right now. And then this is the cool thing. This one right here, that's an, that's an external GPU adapter. You can only go up to a 4070 is what it, it, it uh, is what it's capable of doing. But dude, it's super cool. That has a, the 12900, it's got 32 gigabytes of DDR5, a two terabyte, and, but either way, um, yeah, so I was able to do that and I freaking had to reset everything and reset up OBS and my video editing software and OBS, oh my God. And I have a video uploaded building a computer and I'm like, oh, the audio is so potato and I haven't made it public yet because I'm like listening to it and it's all miscombobulated and I'm like, oh my freaking God, bro. But either way, man, I just can't, the, that's just so wild where we're at with all this stuff. Um, 5090 being paired with an ultra nine. I'm being serious, bro. Like people can go ahead and like make fun of me for that, for that shit, dude. I find that interesting and fascinating. And I was actually being serious. Like, dude, there's like the intel, the level of intelligence that it takes to like, dude, let me know what you guys think about all this stuff. And let, I actually am curious to like what other things you guys find interesting. Um, I've been kind of having this like midlife crisis. So this is, I'm, I'm just warning anybody. I've pretty much gotten off topic this entire video anyways, like always. Uh, but I'm just warning, this is like kind of the end. Um, fucking A. I forgot about it. I'm gonna end the video. Peace. <laughs>